So today we're going to be talking about a brand that is brand new to me. These guys have been on the market for a while, but this is the first time that I'm properly getting to check out some of their guitars on video. Now the guitar I'm holding is, in my opinion, one of the best bang for buck guitars you can actually get. And I don't say that lightly because I know there's some great competition out there and there's so many brands absolutely crushing it in the sub £1,000 mark right now. But this guitar is insane and I absolutely love this thing. And in this video, we're gonna check this thing out in full. This is the Sire Larry Carton T7 FM. <laughs> Sire guitars have been around for a while. You may know them best for their basses. That's where they were kind of introduced into the market. And in recent years, they've gone into the guitar world as well with some Larry Carlton models. Now, Larry Carlton being the famous jazz fusion guitar player, he has used a lot of very high-end guitars in the past. So for him to put his name to something that sits in the price range that these do is obviously a big thing. Now, this particular guitar actually retails at around 550 pounds. So it's not a super cheap guitar, but also we're not really talking, you know, four figures here. It's a really good price if you're looking for a solid instrument that's really dependable and really well specced. This is really hard to beat. Now, this guitar is actually a guitar that I think plays well above its price point. Now, like I said at the start of the video, I don't say that lightly in saying that this is one of my favorite bang for buck guitars because that market is so, so tight right now. And there are so many brands that make incredible guitars for not much money. And I definitely do think Sire are a big contender in that field. Now, if you've never checked one of these out, I would definitely recommend you do because this guitar is a lot of fun. So before we check out the specs of this thing, I just wanna let you guys know, this isn't a sponsored video today, so I'm not getting paid for this video, but, Lee Anderton and the guys at Andertons have very kindly sent this guitar to me for the purpose of this video, but all the thoughts and opinions in the video are my own and the guitar will be staying with me. So, spec-wise, the first thing you'll notice is this amazing finish. This is the transparent blue option. This guitar comes in three different colors. It comes in the transparent blue, a transparent black, and a natural finish. Now, I had to go for the blue because I thought that was just really, really eye-catching. So that really nice flame is actually a veneer, but it looks absolutely incredible. It does have a little bit of depth to it. It's not as 3D as other flames that I've seen, but it is a veneer top on this. That sits on top of a nice, solid North American Alder body. 
Now you can see visually, obviously, this is a T-Star guitar. What they have done is they've added a couple of different sort of modern embellishments to it. So we've got some comfort cuts here. We've got that sort of Strat style cutaway here, and we've got the comfort cuts on the back as well, as well as the sloped neck heel, just to make the access at the top end a little easier. On top of the guitar, we have a pair of humbuckers. These are Sire's LC Super M pickups. These are in the zebra finish. Obviously, there's one black and one cream coil. Even though we have two humbuckers, we actually have a five-way switch down here. So position one is the bridge humbucker. Position two split coils the guitar, but it gives you a kind of stratty in-between position. We've got this coil active and this coil active. The middle position is both humbuckers on at the same time. The fourth position is just the outside coil on the neck pickup, so you get that really nice single coil neck sound. And then the fifth position is just the neck humbucker as well. Master volume, master tone. We've also got a two-point non-locking tremolo system. This comes with a slight float, so you've got some up and down movement as well. The neck on this is a roasted hard maple neck, as you can imagine with it being a T-Star guitar to 25 and a half inch scale. So if you're used to playing those kind of guitars, this is gonna feel instantly familiar. The neck itself is a C shape, so it's a nice rounded shape. It's not too thin. I like that they've kept a little bit of size to the neck because if you're, again, used to playing more classic T styles, you're gonna be used to a slightly bigger neck. The radius on this is 9.5. Again, they've avoided the temptation to go super modern and super flat, which I think is a really good thing because if you're someone like me who likes guitars that feel that little bit older, this is very comfortable. And what they also have is on the fretboard edge, they have these real, real steep fretboard rolls. And that is one of the things I think that makes this guitar feel instantly recognizable because when you roll the fretboard edges, you get this real kind of instant played in feel. It makes it feel more comfortable, makes it feel like a guitar you've owned for a long time. The only other brand I've seen on the market that do anything like this when it comes to fretboard edge rolling in this price range is Chapman Guitars. And again, it's the same thing. They give you that instant feel and kind of comfort that you get from a, you know, a 20 year old guitar. So the fretboard edge roll is a very nice touch. On top of that fretboard, we've got some medium jumbo frets. Then up at the top of the neck, we have a bone nut, which is again, a nice kind of premium item there considering the price of this guitar. Six in a row tuners. These are unbranded locking tuners. But on first impressions, they seem to hold tune very, very well. I've not had any major slipping issues with these. They feel pretty solid. And obviously, as you can imagine, with it being a T-style, it's got a bolt-on neck as well. You've also got this really nice reveal binding on the guitar, which, again, I love the look of that. I think it's a really nice touch. Reveal binding takes the place of traditional plastic binding. So instead of having the plastic binding stripper on the body, you've just got a natural strip of wood. They do that by basically taping that off, painting the body, and then pulling the tape off to reveal this nice natural wood strip all the way around the body. So spec-wise, I think that's about it with this guitar. So I'm gonna plug this thing in now so we can hear some sounds from this. All right, so gear-wise, I've got the Sire T7 going into the Blackstar St. James 6L6. That amp is running completely clean. That's going via the two notes Torpedo Captor X. And in front of the amp, I've also got the Origin Effect Halcyon Gold Overdrive that I'll be using later on in the video. First of all, we're going to hear how this guitar sounds completely clean in all five pickup positions. <laughs> So first impressions here are the clean humbucker sounds are really nice, nice and full as you'd want them to be. But I did actually find those in between positions slightly spiky and sharp. Now I've got the tone on 10 here, so I'm gonna roll that back a little bit. In my own playing and the time I've spent with this guitar already, 
I have found that I've needed to dial it back a little bit. I don't use a particularly bright amp setup, but I did find that the single coil and in-between sounds on this guitar are voiced slightly brighter than I would personally like them. So you can just roll back that tone and that makes a big difference when using those sounds. <laughs> So now I'm going to switch on the Origin Effects Halcyon Gold and we can hear all five pickup positions with some overdrive. So the pickups sound great when you put a bit of overdrive through them. Even the split calls actually feel a little tamer with some overdrive, which I think is a good thing. When you're playing clean, it's very kind of sharp sounding, but putting a bit of drive does smooth them out a little bit. If you find that second position still quite, you know, quite chimey and quite abrasive, again, you can roll that tone back a little bit, maybe down to six and it'll make a big difference. <laughs> So the tremolo system on this guitar is, in my opinion, a really good one considering the price range of the guitar. Now we've got a non-locking two-point tremolo. Now that comes with its own pitfalls. With a non-locking tremolo, if your guitar isn't set up properly, it's gonna give you all kinds of problems. So you have to make sure you get the nut cut properly. Locking tuners are gonna help a lot and obviously stretching your strings is gonna make a big difference. With a non-locking system, you do have to remember that it's not Floyd Rose. So you can't really get away with doing huge dive bombs and pulling the bar up by two tones without you know, running into any tuning issues. But if you're using it as it's intended, which is for some subtle pitch movements, it works great and it holds tune pretty well. I did find that it goes slightly sharp when I'm a little bit heavy handed with it, but nothing that would kind of throw the entire guitar out. So there you go, there is the Sire Guitars T7FM. Now, as I said at the start of the video, this is easily one of my favorite bang for the buck guitars. And I do find it really hard to believe that this retails for what it does, which is just over 500 pound in the UK, because I've played guitars that are two or three times more expensive than this, and this thing easily, easily holds its own against those guitars. 
so yeah this is a really good guitar and it's a lot of fun to play and i think that's kind of for me the determining factor in what i really like about a guitar is when i pick it up and i actually enjoy the process of playing it and by that i don't just mean that it's a good guitar to play i mean that the guitar actually inspires me in some way and this actually has that thing about it i think the rolled fretboard edges really add to that because even though it's an affordable guitar it feels like a much more premium instrument and yeah just gives you all of that mojo that you want from a guitar that's kind of already worn in so yeah check this thing out there's some links down below in the description if you want to check out the sire t7 fm and all the other sire range you can check those out down below in the description as well let me know what you guys think of this thing let me know down below in the comments what your thoughts are on the sounds and the look of this guitar and if you've played one yourself or anything else from the sire range love to hear your thoughts on those as well while you are leaving a comment to let me know what you think of this thing don't forget to hit the like button hit the subscribe button and i will see you guys very very soon thank you so much for watching